welcome back. Things have been a little quiet here this week because it is quite chilly. It's 26 degrees out right now, feels like 18. Uh, this is the first week of winter that my fingers and toes have really felt cold and frigid. So that's been fun. I feel like I haven't done as much this week riding wise. This week, the body worker came out for Doppler on Tuesday for his monthly session. So unfortunately, we haven't really been up to anything yet. It's Thursday. So Tuesday, I got to dressage beforehand. He was really super. And then on Wednesday, he just had a real light, loose, flat day yesterday. Um, I was hoping to get some more stuff done today, but it's also pretty cold, so. Honestly, this week I'm feeling a little unmotivated or definitely like in the height of winter. We're coming into the end of January and we'll be going into February soon. And I'm just kind of like losing my winter momentum, but full steam ahead. Um, we're gonna get through it. I feel very confident in that. Also, before I forget, my friend Courtney and I are gonna do a giveaway on Instagram this week. So to all of my subscribers that use Instagram, you guys should check me out. My handle is Ride and Roam. There's an extra M at the end. You can also look in the description below and my Instagram handle's there. We're gonna run a giveaway with some fun pony stuff. So everyone check that out and enter. Thanks. I'm gonna throw in a picture right here of what's in the giveaway in case you wanna know. <laughs> but it's a lot of stuff. A saddle pad, flare strips, um, polo wraps, some of my favorite things. I apologize that there is a small gap in the vlog here. I had to cut out probably about four minutes of it because my microphone was having some issues. I'm not quite sure why, but there was a weird noise for that portion of filming and I didn't want anyone to have to bear through the weird noise. So, unfortunately, we lost a little bit of the vlog. But to summarize, my coach and I did some planning and we have a really big season planned out, so I'm super excited about that. And then I also talked about what Prince has been doing since he got back from boot camp, which I can go on over in another vlog. But just to explain the small gap, I talked about Prince and that I'm going to work with him on the cross ties today. So I'll be showing you guys that and what I've been doing with him on the ground. So the ponies get hay in the morning and then they come in for grain um, late morning, lunchtime-ish, and then they get hay for dinner, but they don't get, they only get one grain meal a day. So I gotta bring the ponies in for grain, Doppler in for grain, and then I will get Prince out and put him on the cross ties. I also, my trainer bought him something that we're playing with called a busy buddy. This. You guys how it attaches to his halter, but Prince is very mouthy and no matter what we've done and who we've sent him to, nobody's really been able to fix the problem. He's not malicious about it. He doesn't want to bite. Um, he just wants to hold things in his mouth. So we tried getting him this busy buddy, which I'll show you guys today, um, so that you can work on him and work around him while he's distracted. So we're gonna go with that. Prince is wearing this Busy Buddy piece right here. And that is supposed to encourage him that when he has an urge to chew on something and be mouthy, that he already has something in his mouth and just to keep him busy. And it seems to be working.
This is the mouthy behavior I'm talking about. He just wants to hold things in his mouth all the time. He's not malicious about it, but it's a really annoying. <laughs> Prince did boot camp in a heated barn, so he's shedding like crazy. It's kind of bizarre in the winter time, but I think his body just wasn't really sure how to handle it. And the biggest thing that I have to be careful with around him is to not let my guard down and always be on alert. Sometimes he'll just try to like walk out of the cross ties or like mow you over and it's not really intentional. It's not super mean or naughty. He's just a really big giant toddler. So he has a dandruffy coat and I want to spray him with some of my healthy hair care pink stuff. But I don't know if he's ever been sprayed with anything before. So since he seems a little nervous and I don't want to do anything I felt my boss here to help, I'm gonna spray a brush today. And do that instead. So obviously I couldn't show you guys the lensing portion of working with Prince because He's a little bit fussy, but I think you guys get the gist of what I've been doing with him. Bringing him in, making him stand for grooming and beamer sessions and getting lunged in tack. Hopefully another week or so of lunging and then we'll start sitting on him and kind of see where he goes from there. I have Doppler out now. Um, Doppler's been doing really well, building muscle. Uh, the body worker I used came out on Tuesday and said that he already looks better and she's super happy with the muscle that he's been building, so I was really happy to hear that. He's um, having a little bit of one of his anxious days, so he probably looks a little more unhappy than usual. Um, he just seems a little stressed out today. It's a little cold, and when the weather's a little funky, he definitely gets funky too. Um, but I'm gonna hack him out today and uh, make him work a little bit, even though it's cold, try to help him relax. He's been on the Reline GI, which I do think is definitely helping. We're about a week and a half into that. So I am happy with the Reline GI results and I do think that already they're helping him feel a little more comfortable. I do think I'll continue to use that product and my coach and I did decide to have the vet come out and scope him. We'll do an ultrasound to check for all the, there's a lot of different kinds of ulcers, hindgut ulcers and glandular ulcers and non-glandular ulcers and so I just wanna make sure we cover all our bases and that he is happy. So we're gonna work on that um, next Friday and we'll see what she says. She also, the vet also wanted to check his SI and just make sure he's comfortable there, but I think he is, so fingers crossed. Um, and then tomorrow we have a team jump school, so we're excited about that. I didn't get to jump on Tuesday when I normally do because of body work, so. He seems to be relaxing now that I'm standing with him and he's getting beamered. He just gets a little stressed out. Right? It's okay. Also, I know that last week we covered his tack um, and I went over all of my tack. I know some of you guys will probably laugh at me, but I splurged and bought a Western bridle. This lovely Western head stall um, was hand tooled and hand painted um, by a girl um, named Ashley. She runs a little leather shop called 76 and Riveted out of Virginia. Any of you that are into Western head stalls, I'm really excited about this. Um, I won't, obviously like, I won't compete in it or anything, but it'll be nice for hack days, trail rides. I like to moonlight as a Western trail rider, so <laughs> um, I had to have it and it looks really cute on Doppler, and I will throw some photos in of how cute he looks in it here, because I'm gonna write a manager slash tag today. I don't actually know if I've talked about this yet, but my trainer and boss has these lovely, I'm sure you guys have seen them in the videos, 
these lovely Friday Fox exercise sheets. So they're like a quarter sheet that also acts as a saddle pad. Okay, hopefully he won't wiggle too much and you guys can see it. But it just goes on like this. It just looks like that. And then you put the saddle on top of it. Um, I got his dressage saddle flock, which is awesome. I do need to ride in it with a half pad, um, which you guys will see. So this is the Friday Fox quarter sheet, and that this girth really seems to irritate him, which is why I'm, gonna, I'm looking at getting other ones. And that's him being girthy is another reason we're concerned about ulcers. So we're gonna scope him and see what we got. Okay, I'm gonna ride now, and then hopefully I will have a little bit of time to catch some of my PM chores. it for today hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next week